This is THC822 dual channel digital meter. It has six languages with pulse circulation function. When you got the product, it was off screen. The product automatically extinguishes the screen. Press it and it lights up. When the screen lights up, the first thing we do is press the OK button. Set it to year 2007 is shown here. We're going to set it to the present time so we can adjust it by plus and here. Just add or subtract to the current year now is 2022. We adjust to the current year. Press the OK button again. This is the month we are in April, but it shows August. We can go back to April. Press the OK button again. And then the date, the number here is 16 today is 14th. You can choose to go back. Press the OK button again. This is the specific time we are now in the afternoon. We can set it for 4 p.m. Press the OK button again next is minutes for example. We are now 10 minutes, that'll confirm it after the product year, month and date are set. Let's now set up the program. There are many languages to choose from in total. We have six languages to choose from, we choose English. This is program 44 and we see it, this is channel C1. So you want C2 channels that can be converted, this is open. You can choose a time to open the product. Let's say we set 6 o'clock in the morning press OK button until 6.30. You can hold it still and it can keep jumping skip to the desired number and press OK. The blinking here is the week. You can choose like the day of the week. This is going to jump. Jump to the desired week, press the OK key to confirm, then confirm confirm everything you need, you can skip what you don't want, you can skip it by pressing plus or for example this program is done and you don't want to use it anymore, well, we have a process for deleting it this feature is powerful this is delete this is all deleted deleted at the button if you hit the reset button, you won't even have the date now we have the year, the month, the day, the time if you press this reset button all days and years are gone after the reset button.